Tonight, hundreds of students and parents from Audrey Kell High School say they want their principal back. We first told you about this on Monday. Principal David Schweitzer under investigation and suspended. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper takes a look at Schweitzer's past to explain both the praise and critique he's now facing. The idea of race is a big deal, and even Charlotte Mecklenburg schools isn't immune. Some believe the suspension of Principal David Switzer may be related to race, but it's a claim that has the community divided. Signs in hand showing multiple displays of support. All for Audrey Kell right Principal decision. David no Switzer. This crowd coming out in the dozens in hopes of having Switzer's suspension overturned. He has brought together so many communities, so we are here today to support him and be and show our support for this amazing leader. Rising senior Julia Drago helped organize the event, and she's just one of many students back into principal who some say gives tough love. He is very stubborn, and but that's what makes AK so highly functioning with academics, and we do a great job at that. And we would not be here without Switzer. And some parents agree. I've been a proactive parent, and I've complained about a lot of things. And what I like about David, as somebody said, is he answers, he follows up. But despite the good, Audrey Kell has also faced some bad, including incidents of racism involving a vandalized spirit rock meant to honor Black Lives Matter, and even claims listed in a petition that Principal Switzer used a racially sensitive term during a faculty meeting. Some have called for Switzer's resignation, while others are showcasing their full support of him. He has never done anything that's racist. Come to the school and observe him. I think he loves every student here, and he doesn't care about their race. He wants them all to succeed. Through handwritten notes and even personal testimonies. He led me through my first real grief. And this crowd has proven their stance, but ultimately it's up to CMS to determine the final outcome. And so far, there's been no announcement about how long Principal Switzer's suspension might be. Reporting from CMS headquarters, Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.